What's up guys and welcome to another episode of The Positive Pathway. Today I have a very special guest, Anna Ong. Anna considers herself practically Latina because she was born in Manila and lived in both Colombia and Argentina. She is a former banker turned storyteller. She's the creator and host of What's Your Story Slam, a live storytelling show here in Singapore. Welcome to the show, Anna. Hi, Stuart. Thanks for having me. Thanks for uh, agreeing to come on the show. So how about uh, we start with you telling the viewers a little bit about yourself and about what's your story slam? So, um, yeah, oh, I'm not even so sure how to tell about. So I was a banker uh, turned storyteller um, throughout my entire life. All my mother ever wanted to me, me to be was to be a banker. And so I did. I never joined any other industry other than banking since I graduated from college. Even post business school, I went back to banking, uh, but I didn't have the passion for banking that I had. Although I'm not so sure any banker could ever admit that they were ever passionate about banking in the first place. <laughs> so um, one day in 2016, I just decided, like, yeah, you know to quit my job and go to South America to dance. And that was because I was learning how to dance here in Singapore, but dancing here in Singapore can be a bit more on a formula. So I wanted to go to the origins of Latin dance. So I moved. I started off in Colombia, learned salsa and bachata and realized I really don't like salsa. Uh, learned tango in Colombia, fell in love with it. And so I decided to move to Argentina where I can then study tango. Fell into storytelling uh, when I was soul searching in California. Uh, at, surprisingly enough, at a comedy show, when I thought, uh, when I was listening to a female stand up, I was heckling her and I got more laughs from the audience than she did. So I thought, <laughs> well, you know what? If this is the bar for story, if this is the bar for comedy, well then I might as well just do comedy. I'm prettier and I'm funnier, which made me move to New York where I learn uh, different forms of comedy, particularly improv and storytelling. Uh, storytelling is my love. I love the idea of sharing personal narratives. Uh, there is something magical about being uh, either in the audience or on stage, listening to someone share something very personal about themselves for that moment, those few minutes where they, they're opening themselves up. You feel very connected, even though it's a perfect stranger. When I came back to Singapore, I was looking for venues where I can tell stories. All I could find was open mic nights, which is mostly stand-up crowd. And the audience in stand-up and storytelling are slightly different because in stand-up, they expect you to be funny, like, go ahead, make me laugh. Whereas in storytelling, oh my God, you're so brave, which, which is a much more welcoming audience. Although I would describe storytelling as a not so funny version of stand-up. And the, the expectations of you being funny are very low because it comes organically. Uh, so what the audience just expect is a good story. It can be happy, it can be sad, it can be even scary, it can be disturbing. Uh, as long as it's a story, uh, the audience appreciates it. So I started What's Your Story Stand because there was no venue here in Singapore. And also because my friends were tired of listening to me complain about how much I miss the scene in the United States where any day of the week I can go out, find a place for me to tell stories and then go home. So they said like, well, why don't you start your own show? And I thought like, why not? So I started What's Your Story Slam. It was supposed to be a one-off, but everybody loved it. So I decided to do another show and another show and then COVID happened. So now we're gonna go on our virtual show. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Now on the theme of uh, positive thinking, do you uh, use any positive thinking concepts in your storytelling teachings or techniques? Well, I guess, what do you mean by positive thinking concepts? Uh, for example, um, self-confidence, um, self-esteem. Um, so f for me, positivity is the expectation, having the expectation of success. I would say in my storytelling, it depends on the stories you tell yourself. I think when it comes to their personal narrative, how you tell your story to others and how you tell yourself is very much reflective of it, about it in terms of how you frame it. Um, so 
I normally de depends on the mindset of the person on like how they do their thesis statements. You can uh, you can use that to boost yourself up, like record looking at all your past successes. Uh, what's very interesting actually when you start talking about your personal story, your journey, that's when you realize like, oh my God, I'm freaking awesome. I've done all these great things without even you realizing it because you've never really take the time to really map out your journey. Uh, whether it is like getting self-confidence, that itself in itself is a journey because then you could always say like, I was always been very insecure. And now I'm speaking up on stage. Like for me, like when I was in third grade, nobody believes that when I tell them I'm painfully shy, but I have a note from the teacher that my mom still kept that says she is very quiet and shy, could benefit from speaking up more. Like that's like a direct quote. And my mom had me spend summers taking speech lessons and then public speaking classes. And I'm still terrified of being up on stage. It was really over only the past few years that I feel much more comfortable speaking up in front of a big crowd. Uh, definitely with What's Your Story Slam, that was a, a uh, I was terrified in the first show when I realized I have to host it and I have to talk to a room full of, well, it was, it's in front of a room where people may judge me, but then also realizing the only person judging you in that room is yourself. Nobody else is judging you. Um, so that, that I think is what I would say, um, when I map up the journey, when I re that's when I kind of build up confidence about myself. And that's when I see also people who take story, who's learning storytelling, see confidence in themselves when they start mapping their own journey. Nice. Uh, some, some very good points. So uh, I, um, also am very interested. I can see you've got some, uh, yoga mats in, in the background there. So um, do you have any daily rituals that uh, contribute to you having a positive mindset? Obviously, exercise is one of them. Uh, well, I wake up, every, I would love to say I wake up every morning and I meditate, but my meditation is exercise. So I wake up every morning, I go for a run three times a week. And if I'm not, I'm going for a walk. I like, well, I have yoga mats. I don't do yoga. I do Pilates though, because oh. I find uh, Pilates works better for me. Uh, also less annoying instructors. <laughs> <laughs> it's they, uh, it, in a way it's also because it makes you very conscious about all the little muscles, the muscles that you have in your body. So I quite like that because it takes more focus on that versus just the breathing and the flow of the movement. That's it for me. It's not as extreme as yoga. It does not expect me to be bendy. It's just, it meets me where I am which I think is very important, especially during tough times when we are, we put so much pressure on ourselves, uh, like having an exercise that allows you to meet you where you are, um, helps. So that would probably be it. I also need to have my cup of tea in the morning uh, before I'm ready to engage with the world. Nice. I, I like to do a bit of uh, movement meditation too. I consider it my exercise my meditation as well do all my all my best ideas come from uh, when i'm doing my exercise that's true because like the, the it's the um there's like a flow of um the blood rush into your brain as well it helps i think yeah now um what's your story slam do you have any upcoming online shows i'm guessing you probably do that's the new pivot nowadays uh, yes, uh, so I finally, um, so I've been performing online shows in the U.S. and I have decided to start What's Your Story Slam again. Um, so we're having our first show uh, next Saturday on the 27th of June. The theme is Mom and Pops and it's actually on, so on my father's birthday. Oh, uh, I won't be able to fly back to celebrate uh, my father's birthday, which I normally do. So this is also in honor of him. That's why I decided to, uh, also because it's Father's Day and it's Mother's Day. So I figured it, it, it kind of worked. Fantastic. Now, I really want to thank you for coming on the show and for your insight today, Anna. I'm going to put a couple of links in the description if people want to find out more. And so uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm very grateful. Yeah, thanks for having me, Stuart. Yeah, it's a, it was a pleasure. So that's all for the show today, folks. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. 
And remember, respect one another and uh, bye for now.